This ad is brought to you by NeuroKey. NeuroKey, unlock your mind. This ad is also supported by the 14th APA Division. Are you an unsure undergrad? You're majoring in psychology but don't know what subfield suits you? And down in the dumps? Flattened like a pancake even? A little discouraged? Borderline self-abusive? Well, once you put some thought into it, and stop tripping up over your illusioned worries. It's time to suit up and pick the best subfield of all. Industrial Organizational Psychology! Are you persuasive? Enjoy managing others? Outgoing, energetic, optimistic, attention-getting, and adventurous? Then you may just be of the enterprising type of personality, which happens to be perfect for IO psychology. If there had to be one word to describe industrial organizational psychology, it would be flexibility. Your responsibilities range from changing environmental conditions to better benefit people in a working world, to watching organizations and employees closely to help create the most conducive and harmonious environments possible. Being able to have the chance to create major changes to the structure of a company and making the most natural and relaxing environment possible for your fellow colleagues. Seeing who you get to hire, who's qualified for the next promotion, and reducing stress overall. As an IO psychologist, it's your responsibility to change the work field to be a place people are happy to come to work for. Industrial psychology concentrates on the individual employee and his or her behavior. It's often referred to as personal psychology. Industrial psychology is all about selection and placement and helping companies of all different sizes find who's best for empty positions that need to be filled. This occurs very often and companies rely on industrial psychologists to help them find out who's most suited to fill these spots. It seems to me that you may have a couple questions for us. Please go ahead and fire away. Interesting jobs I can get with a background in There sure are. A background in industrial organizational psychology provides one with a plethora of interesting job opportunities. This is because for every company or organization, a professional with an IO background is of necessity so as to ensure the highest level of productivity from its employees. Upon initial investigation, the job possibilities truly seem to be endless. However, we can name a few for you. Management consultants propose ways to improve an organization's efficiency. They advise managers on how to make organizations more profitable through reduced costs and increased revenues. The entry level of education is a bachelor's degree, and median pay is over 70000 annually. Another profession is a human resource manager. Here you would plan, direct, and coordinate different functions of an organization, the staff, you'd oversee the recruiting, interviewing, hiring, and even consult with top executives on strategic planning. Entry level education here again is a bachelor's degree, and the median pay seems to be at over $90,000 annually. Well, buddy, if you get your master's degree, you can actually become an industrial organizational psychologist, possibly make over $80,000 a year, or get your doctoral degree and become a self-employed consultant and make possibly over $200,000 a year. The more experience you gain, the more money you would make. What are some good experiences I could gain before I get my degree? that could help me in my specific type of field, such as industrial organizational psychology. Good question, smart guy. A good way to prepare yourself is to involve some internships. The experience is very helpful in the IO psych field. There are a lot of consulting firms out there that engage in IO psychology, and related practices may provide such positions. Also, employment in human resources or closely rated areas can also serve as a valuable experience in preparation for graduate school. Let us now take a few moments to glimpse into the world of a great man who has had wonderful success in the I.O. field. This man is none other than Dr. Struselbottom Takamura.
Oh, I didn't see you there. Hello. I am Dr. Jason Struzelbaton Takamura. I am a industrial organizational psychologist with a doctoral degree. Some of the things I do day to day are select employees by hand for various corporations. I determine who is qualified for promotions. I build collaborative and cooperative teams to work together for various corporations. I've been in the field for over 10 years and I am a self-employed consultant that makes over $150,000 But also, best of all, I do teaching on the side. <laughs> Sometimes people, they ask me, they say, Hey, Dr. Dr. Mora, why do you do what you do? I reply to them that I do what I do because I love the people. It is a very sad place to work in cooperation all day. It can be hard to be happy. But my job is to make happy free-flowing environment for all people and for everyone to be happy. This is very fulfilling job for me. My goal as a very experienced consultant is to continue going from corporation to corporation around the world and making all corporation environments feel as homey as they can for the employees. Also possibly world domination through the controlling of all corporations worldwide being it is as all corporations over to control the world, then I, Takamura, would have everything. But for now, Takamura just want a gold-plated corduroy suit and probably just some cheesecake. Alright, that should be good. <laughs> <laughs>